like the stock appearance of your car makes you yawn every time you see it, a body kit package may be the answer. Commercial body kits aren't always what you wonder can afford. Making your own out of fiberglass in this situation can be a good idea. A fiberglass body kit can be made by anyone, but getting one that looks decent is a different story. If you have no experience with fiberglass or auto body work, you should probably want to practice on a small project before this. Aside from that, this is one of the most satisfying things you can undertake. Make a rough sketch of your design. Your body kit will almost certainly look bad if you don't get your layout down on paper first. This is a spot where you may let your creative side loose. Look over existing body kits to get an idea of what you want, then incorporate your favorite features from each into your design. Cut lengths of high density foam into the approximate sizes of each element after removing the existing bumpers and trim from your car. Raise each part with leftover foam blocks until it is resting where it will finally be placed. If you want to keep it in place for the time being, you can use duct tape. Use a thick marker to draw out the details directly onto the foam, following your drawings exactly. Make a mental note of how deep each indentation or cutout should be. To guarantee perfect symmetry, draw half of each body panel first, then carefully measure and copy each design element to the opposite side. One mistake can totally derail a job, so double check your measurements before getting started. Carve your pattern into the foam, taking care not to harm any of the elements in the process. When laying the fiberglass on top of the foam, keep in mind that each section will be somewhat thicker, so account for this when cutting. Make sure that each cut corresponds to the lines you made in the previous step. You don't have to scrap the entire item if you make a mistake, simply cut out the wrecked portion, glue another block of foam in its place, and continue working. To keep the resin from clinging to the completed foam pieces, wrap them tightly in aluminum foil. To keep the aluminum in place on the foam, you might want to use an adhesive spray. Next, use an on-stick cooking spray to coat the outside of the foil, which will act as a mold release when you remove the fiberglass. The components have now been fully prepared. Start putting the fiberglass. Begin by laying a single sheet of resin-soaked paper across the outside of the mold. Remove any air bubbles with a roller before tucking the fiberglass sheet around the corners and contours of the body kit. Allow for complete drying before gently removing the single sheet of fiberglass from the foam mold. Due to the fragility of the single fiberglass sheet, proceed with caution. Multiple layers of thick fiberglass matting are used to reinforce the inside of the pieces. Smooth out any air bubbles on each layer and let it dry completely before moving on to the next one. You can add as much thickness as you want to the end result by adding this matting on the interior of the pieces without modifying the outer contour. To smooth off any uneven spots or lumps, sand the outside of the pieces with a rough grain sandpaper rated grit. To guarantee clean edges, apply a metal file around the apertures. To protect yourself, use a suitable breathing respirator, thick gloves, and long sleeves. Once you've obtained the desired look, use an air compressor to blast the bumpers clean of sanding dust, then wipe the entire surface down to eliminate any remaining particles. Now is an excellent moment to perform a test fit to ensure that the parts are aligned properly. Apply Bondo to the entire exterior surface to provide a smooth, completed texture similar to that of a worked piece of auto body sheet metal. To completely cover the surface, multiple layers may be required. After allowing the Bondo to set, sand it to a flat surface, but not completely smooth. To ensure that the paint adheres, sand it down with a coarse sandpaper. To prepare the finished product for the following stage, wipe it with isopropyl alcohol. Paint the components after priming them. Any spray on commercial automobile primer will suffice. To cover the entire area, use lengthy, sweeping motions. Start spraying the can before it hits the surface, and don't stop until the sweep is complete and the surface on the opposite side is clear. This guarantees continuous coverage. It just takes two applications of primer, and each coat only takes 5 to 10 minutes to dry. Allow for a couple of hours for the final application to cure before painting. Your body kit should be painted. To completely cover the surface, use the same lengthy sweeping motions. Instead of thicker coatings, apply repeated coats of extremely light paint. Allow 5 to 10 minutes for the primer to set between applications before moving on to the next. To completely cover the surface, 10 or more coats may be required. To protect the finish, apply two coats of clear coat after it's dry. 
installing your car's bumper kit. You can use the same mounting system as the original bumpers and trim pieces. Though you may need to make some custom brackets depending on your vehicle. Double check spacing to ensure that the panels are securely fastened to kit and that everything appears to be in place. Have fun with your creative side on doing this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Enjoy. Disclaimer. This is a method of the way I do my project. I am not and will not be at fault if you choose to copy or imitate my style.